Hello, welcome to Tazunomi Online Mathematics. We have a question on uh, sequence and series and uh, geometric progression. They said the third term of a GP is 24 and each seventh term is four whole number 20 over 27. We are to find each first term. So the first term is what we are interested in, but we can get that from the first two statements. We know the first term of a GP, if it is U1, we have for A. The second term, as in U2, will be AR, that is the N minus 1. So if I have this, if it is the third term, it becomes AR what? Raised to the power 2. So you can see that I say R to the power what? 0 here, to the power 1, to the power 2. So if you see 1, you see 2. You see there's a decrease from 1, from 2 to 1, from 1 to 0, 3 to 2. If I go for the fourth term, it will be AR to the power what? 3. So we are looking for the third term and that of what? The seventh term. Meaning the seventh term is going to be AR, a decrease of this is what? 6. So I am only interested in this as the seventh term and this as what? The third term. This value is given to me. So this value is given as 24 and this value is given as what? The fraction we are seeing here. So let's get to it. So we can say that our third term, which is AR square, is the same as what? 24. This is the same as this, because this is the one we are given. So let's label this as what? Equation 1. Then our seventh term is going to be AR6 to the power. We can change this. If you multiply this by this, 28. So 8 plus that. We have 128 all over what? 27 to be our equation 2. So this becomes two simultaneous equations. Devoid of this because this is what we are having as this. So if I take care of this as my equation. Since there is no addition here, you know, we clear addition and subtraction. If I were to see here to be plus or minus. Then I'll think of how I can add the two equations to or multiply by a particular factor. But this is having multiplication. To be able to cancel multiplication, we use division. So I'll be looking at which one have the highest power, this, the smallest power, this. So I'll divide both equations by the one with the smallest power, meaning equation 2 divided by equation what? 1. That means equation 2. AR exponent 6 divided by AR exponent 2 equals to using this. And that is going to be 128 over 27 divided by what? 24. I didn't want to get the double division. So I will use the division sign. We know that if I'm dividing a number by itself, it cancels. Then R exponent 6 divided by R exponent 2, we enter into indices. We have the same base, so we subtract the exponent. That gives us R exponent 4 equals to 128 over 27. We now turn this to become multiplication. There is 21 over 1. As I change this to multiplication, I flip the fraction. So there is a 1 here. I flip them. Meaning 1 goes up, then 24 comes down. Alright, so we can see that we need to multiply this by this, this by this, unless there's a common factor. So if I use 8, 8 will go here, 1, remember that 4. 8 into 48, 16. So my R exponent 4 equals to the top will be 16 times 1 is 16. When 8 goes into 24, that will be 3. 3 times this is what? 81. 
but we are looking for r not r exponent 4 so we need to clear the exponent by bringing the fourth root the inverse of the exponent 4 will be the fourth root so i'll find fourth root of r exponent 4 fourth root of 8 sorry 61 over 16 over 81 the fourth root of that now when you are taking a fourth root the cube root or any root we know the root is just a power so this is going to be 1 over 4 as a power so if I have r exponent 4 times 1 over 4 it cancels to give you only the r similarly we need to find this on a calculator or better still we can change this to become 2 exponent 4 we can change this to become 3 exponent 4 so if I find the fourth root of that if I take off the root it means it become power of 1 over 4 times 1 over 4 and I believe they clear off but you can do that easily on the calculator to find the fourth root of r to the power 4 we give ourselves r to find the fourth root don't forget this is under said if I have a division under said each of the term take the the squares root in this case the fourth root so I'll be having only 2 and what? 3. So you can see we have the R. But that is not our concern. We are looking for the first term, which is the A. So I can put the value of R into equation 1 or equation 2. And I believe power of 2, power of 6, I'll prefer the power that is smallest. So put R equals to 2 on 3 into equation 1. 1. That is going to be AR, which is now 2 on 3, AR squared. AR squared equals to 24. So under indices, if I have a fraction square, each of the terms take the square. So it becomes 2 squared will be 4. Don't forget this is multiplying to become 4 a 3 squared become 9 equals to 24. So we now have a fraction. We cross multiply. So 4a equals to 24 times what? 9. And if you multiply that, we have 36. So that is 3. This time this will give us an 18. So we have 21. So are we having... 4a equals to 2, 16. And if I'm to divide both sides by 4, I'll be having a equals to 2, 1 over what? 4. So 4 will go into 20, 5 times. Remember 1, so 16, so 4. It means a is just what? 54. So now, let's find its first term. So therefore, the first term of the GP is what? 54. So simple, right? So when you take the question, take your time, follow what you know. As in the laws, the rules, the principles, the properties, bring them to bear, then substitute, then oh yeah, you are dead. Thank you very much for watching. This is still Tazunomi Online Mathematics. My plea is that share this video, comment and read. If you have any reservation, any question, ask. So that we are learning together. So that if there is anything that I can also learn from you, we do that. Share, subscribe to the channel Tazunomi Online Mathematics. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.